The Model Y has provided a proving ground for Tesla's cutting-edge electric vehicle technology, including the company's new die-casted frame components, enhanced battery cells, and structural battery pack architecture. With the new year approaching, the 2023 Model Y is just around the corner, and it is bound to blow you away. Beginning in the spring of this year, Tesla's first Model Y cars were produced at the new Gigafactory. These were the first mass-produced examples of 4680 battery cell and structural battery pack, dual motor all-wheel drive, and front and rear gig casting frame parts. It was the most cutting-edge electric vehicle available to the general public. For somewhat lower price tags, the initial iterations of the EV had surprisingly subpar specifications in performance, so Tesla again retooled the assembly line to manufacture the Model Y conventionally. The same vehicle that rolls off the assembly line in Fremont but is made on a cutting-edge assembly line in Giga, Texas, Tesla appears to be only storing the 4680 battery packs away rather than installing them in any moving vehicles. Thus, all future U.S. shipments of Model YYs will have the standard 2170 cell skateboard battery pack. The increased production in Texas is beginning to pay off, as evidenced by the shorter wait periods for Model Y. Giga Texas is boosting Model Y availability and decreasing wait times. Current delivery times are the smallest we've seen in a long time. Installing the premium wheels or selecting the more expensive paint option are common ways to expedite the delivery of a vehicle. However, that won't be an issue for the foreseeable future. One thing that stands out on the Model Y ordering page is the price increase that affects every option. Pricing for a long-range Model Y starts at $66,000 USD and rises to $70K for a high-performance variant. Full autonomous driving has also seen a price hike from $12,000 to $15,000 USD, a 25% increase. If you think that's awful, you should see what happens when you order the same option in Canada, where the price jumps from $12,800 to $20K for FSD. The cost of the upgraded autopilot system in this country has also risen from $6,400 to $7,800, even while Tesla has not decided to raise the price of an advanced autopilot in the United States, the company has has done so in Canada, which may make Canadians feel like they are being taken advantage of. Canada was actually getting the features at a much lower relative price before, and now that the dollar values are essentially even between the two countries, the situation is still the same. Over the course of the following few months, we will see the introduction of even more improvements to the Tesla Model Y. Unlike conventional automakers, Tesla doesn't update their models annually. When a new function is ready, Tesla simply implements it. A rumored Model Y feature is a powered front trunk or frunk. A website has shown Tesla's frunk shutting animation, which points to the impending arrival of a powered frunk. Since all of the newest electric vehicles from G GM, Ford, Rivian, and Lucid now come standard with power-operated front doors, Tesla desperately required this update for the Model Y. As a bonus, the Model Y will soon have Steam integration for in-car gaming. People were thrilled when Elon Musk announced on September 13th that he was doing tests on Steam integration in Palo Alto, California. This would open a whole new realm of gaming. Gaming that we never imagined, especially on a car. Tesla's dashboard screen may be used to play various video games. So far, we've only got access to a small selection of games that have been ported for Tesla. These games are generally high quality, but severely limited in scope. However, to play the newer and more advanced games on your car dash, you must use the latest AMD Ryzen CPU, originally introduced with the updated Model S and Model X in 2021. The processor would give the in-car system the same gaming power as the almighty PlayStation 5. Thankfully, that Ritzen chip has already made its way down to the Model 3 and Model Y, so any vehicle you order today will be fully capable of supporting Steam and its games. Imagine how wonderful that would be. While charging your car at a superstation, you can simultaneously play GTA 5. Isn't this every gamer's dream? Well, despite this fantastic update, the delivery of a Model Y in the year 2023 may leave you unprepared to omit certain amenities. Control stalks mounted on the steering column to operate turn signals and gear selection will be dropped from the Model Y. In order to make the Model 3 and Model Y more compatible like the latest Model S and Model X, reputable sources have revealed that they will be updated to include touch control buttons on the steering wheel. As far as we can tell, however, the steering yoke will not be provided. As a result, the vehicle will continue to use a conventional steering wheel. 
turn signals, wipers, and headlights must all be activated using capacitive touch buttons on the steering wheel, and the vehicle must be moved between drive neutral and backward via the central touch screen. While automatic gear selection is expected to accompany this new function, it is not guaranteed always to select the optimal choice, so it is not a major concern, especially if you are already a Tesla driver and are used to the vehicle's minimalist control. But the transition from a normal vehicle to a Tesla Model Y or Model 3 will be substantial. North America is one of the few places on Earth where you can't buy a Model Y with the standard range of rear-wheel drive. This is because this Tesla's Model Y variant is assembled in Shanghai at the company's Gigafactory. It employs a battery chemistry known as LFP, which has a smaller capacity but is easier and cheaper to manufacture thanks to using iron as the cathode metal rather than nickel and cobalt. An electric motor mounted between the rear wheels works with the battery. Initially released in 2021 in Asia, sales of these RWD vehicles have only lately begun in Europe. When compared to the long-range version, their price is far more reasonable. They are still rather quick with a 6.6-second 0-60 speed, and while we only have WLTP range estimates, we may probably assume that they will have roughly 270 miles of EPA-certified range. Unfortunately, up here in the north, all you can get is the Model 3 with the standard range and a rear-wheel drive configuration. For only $47,000, you can get one of them with the same Chinese-made LFP battery pack and a single motor. That's also a fantastic automobile, but the Model Y has the advantages of being larger, having more interior space, having a larger trunk, and an elevated driving position. It would be great if the Y could also offer a much more affordable option in the US. And although it's highly likely that the rear-wheel drivetrain Y will be available, it will not happen until 2023. It appears to be a simple matter of ramping up production in Giga, Texas, then perhaps deciding what to do with the 4680 and finally stabilizing the current product range. When that happens, we'll have another Model Y option at that lower price range. If the car costs about 50K, its sales would surely skyrocket, earning Tesla billions of dollars in revenue. But would Tesla be able to pull off this feat? Only time will tell. That brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing you more content like this. Also, let us know in the comments your thoughts, and we'll see you next time.